Hi, I'm Brett. This is Byron, the Marketing Manager at Pod Active. Today we're with MX Store, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to correctly fit your youth or adult K4 2.0 brace or your new K8 2.0 braces. Measure the width or the circumference of your knee, but when you're at home, we recommend the most accurate is to measure just the circumference. If you're able to get into MX store, into the dealership, they will have calipers that allow you to actually measure the width of the knee. But at home, make sure that you actually put on the knee brace sleeves, the knee brace socks, or the tights, like skins or two times you. Whatever you wear under your knee braces or currently under your knee guards, if you're looking to upgrade to knee braces, measure the circumference of your knee wearing whatever that is. The reason being some base layers and even some knee thick knee brace socks can be one millimeter thick. That millimeter on each side of the knee is the difference sometimes of moving up from a small to a medium or a medium to a large. The Pod K8 2.0, the width between the hinges increases six millimeters between sizes. So it is a very intimate fit. Byron's actually wearing the Pod knee sleeves what you do to measure your circumference, weight bearing, standing straight with weight evenly dispersed or loaded across both feet. You look for the bottom of the kneecap. So the patella, which is your kneecap, right at the bottom. If you've got a soft measuring tape at home, I've got one here, or you can get one out of a sewing kit, you can use that. Alternatively, you could actually use a shoelace, a piece of string, uh, a piece of wool, anything that will allow you to wrap around the knee and then you can take that item and hold it against a traditional tape measure. So here, I'm gonna look at it, the bottom of his kneecap, measure that right round to, he's 37, 37.5 centimeters, which is 370 to 375 millimeters. And I've got the Imperial system on the backside, which is 14 and a half inches. So on each of the product pages on the MX Store website, is the pod size chart or it's coming up on the screen now. And that actually places Byron right in the middle of a size large. So in a K4 brace, he would be the medium large and we will use the thin hinge pads. Or if he's the K8, he's gonna be a size large. So again, measure both knees as well. Byron knows that both knees are the same circumference, but it's not uncommon when we're in the field, when we're at events and, and engaging and activating with different customers and riders, that we'll find if someone's got a pre-existing knee injury, they might have some scar tissue or, you know, if one knee measures three, four, five millimeters different, the braces are sold individually, so we might find there's a medium on one leg and a large on the other that's had some injuries, pre-existing injuries. So be sure to measure both knees, compare those circumference measurements in millimeters or in inches, metric or imperial, to the size chart on the screen or on the MX Door website, and then you can identify what's gonna be the best fitting brace for you. Or is wearing the pod knee sleeves, you've purchased your K4 or your K8 braces through MX Store. Upon unboxing the brace, we've taken the impact guard off so that you can uh, see more clear as I put this brace on Byron's knee where the hinge should sit relative to the center of the kneecap and also how deep it should sit in the knee. So I have the K4 2.0 in, uh, in a white black here. We measured Byron in a prior video. He measures right in the middle of a large at 370 millimeters or roughly 14 and a half inches. So make sure you put your brace on, starting with your leg bent at 90 degrees. I've got the left brace here. The straps are all numbered. One is the first one below the hinge, two, three, and then four is at the bottom. We encourage you, strongly encourage you to put them on in that sequence, and I'll show you why now. But with Byron's leg at 90 degrees, push the brace on, hold it in place, so that the actual hinges are right through the middle of the kneecap, and you will want to hold the lower and upper frame in place. Strap number one, I'll undo that strap first. That's gonna sit nice and high up above the calf. This is the most important strap on the brace because it is going to anchor the brace above the calf and lock it in place. So literally, 
you will want to do it up nice and secure. You can also adjust the length of the strap from the base. So the opposite end that has the number printed on it, you can actually then adjust the length of the strap. Every strap set is unique to the brace that you have. So if you have an extra small, small K4, or for instance, a medium K8, the straps are tailored to the length of that brace. So we've already done the adjustments on the brace on Byron here. So one was immediately below the hinge. Two is going to be immediately above the hinge. And again, these are the two straps that hold the frame in place. These provide all the structural integrity to protect the knee. Now riders are active, we're up and down out of the saddle, you're moving around a lot. So years ago we integrated, we went away from a fully rigid brace like a lot of our competitors have, and we now have this adaptive cuff, top and bottom. This allows for muscle movements so as your quads and your hamstrings are expanding, contracting, plus your calves getting up, sitting down. Also the broader array of different riders' anatomies. Some people might be cyclists, they might be shorter, taller, have different size hamstrings, different size calves. So the adaptive cuffs allow us to fit and custom fit a lot more people as well. And lastly, as we know, dirt bike riding, adventure riding, very dangerous sport. And one of the misconceptions with braces is, oh, I might have, you know, you, they break a femur or you can break a tibia. We want to protect the knee, so in the uh, event of a very violent crash, that force is going to move away from the knee and the force gets dissipated by these adaptive cuffs. So they're there to lessen the chance of a skeletal fracture and make sure that we protect the knee. So I've done up strap one, strap two. Next, I'm going to adjust strap three. And then lastly will be strap four. So strap three and four also have a strap clip in place. Uh, you don't have to do strap three and four up as uh, tight as some of the other straps. The reason being, once you've actually set them the first time with that strap clip, you won't have to set them again. You can actually just use the strap clip, which now that I've got these set up, I can just clip and go every time Byron wants to get out and have a ride. So one, two, three, and four, as soon as I've got this one set, we'll ask Byron to, excuse me, just tighten that one up, to stand up. If you could stand up for me and face the camera, and again, this, the hinges are sitting right through the middle of the kneecap where they should be. I've put this brace on without any hinge pads in. When you first pull your brace out of the box, we actually recommend that you try the brace on without the hinge pads because within your K4s, you'll see on the screen now what comes with the brace. You've got a set of thin hinge pads, a set of thick hinge pads, a set of hinge shims, some frame spaces, all of these components help you tailor and really customize the fit of your K4 or K8 knee brace to your anatomy. So again, this is a medium large K4, Byron measures to a size large. So in a moment, we'll take this off. I will then put the thin hinge pads on and the hinge pads, they have pod written across them. That needs to be horizontal through the hinge and the thickest part of the hinge pad will sit at the front. So when I put these on in a moment, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll cut back to the hinge pads being in place. However, when you try the brace on, if you look down and just on the back of your leg, try to stick your little finger in between the hinges, if the gap is wider on one side, the inside is the medial, the outside is the lateral side. You, they don't have to be symmetrical. You could put a thick hinge pad on one side and a thin on the other, or you can actually use one of the hinge shims, which again came up on the screen a moment ago, and you can place a hinge shim behind one of the thin or the thick hinge pads to tailor it and help the brace conform to your body and really capture your knee the best way possible. Now we've put the thin hinge pads in place. You can see the gray knee grippers that are attached to the hinges. They help the hinge and the hinge pad actually capture the knee. Don't worry about if you find a little bit of a gap on the front of the hinge pad uh, on either side of your knee. It's really the sides of the hinge that should be providing even pressure against the side of your knee. As you stand up and sit down, the front of the knee actually triangulates. So there will always be a little bit of gapping and exposure exposure at the front of the hinge. 
Because Byron had the pod knee sleeves on, these are designed to wrap up. They have some silicon um, grippers, similar to a, a goggle on a motocross helmet. Top and bottom, they fold down and fold up. Two reasons, one, they provide uh, compression and hold the brace in place, but also whether you're wearing a motocross pant or a trail ride pant, an adventure pant, it's gonna slide over, have a much better contact surface and there's nothing that it can really capture on. So with the impact guard in here, um, it's all really neat, very low profile, incredibly light and comfortable. So if you have any questions, you can certainly contact MX Store, they can help you with the fit.